Hey everyone, it's been a while. I have been filming videos, but I just haven't been posting anything just because I haven't been satisfied with the way they've turned out really, but I think I have so much footage that I'm gonna slowly edit it through and then I'll upload them slowly. Anyway, I've been noticing that I've gained quite a few followers, not a whole ton, but like maybe 50 followers in um since like the last time i posted so i guess there's some interest if you're new to the channel welcome let me know down below which videos you really like and what types of videos you would like to see from me but i'm uploading this video because Perez reached out to me and they said they wanted to send me a package. They are actually releasing a new mask which will be out tomorrow, Thursday, September 5th and it's called the Hydrobiome Probiotic Superdose Face Mask. It is part of their yogurt line. It's in a glass jar. It's a hefty 3.38 ounces. It's gonna... Very thick. They also sent me a Greek yogurt foaming cream cleanser, which I haven't used yet. Um, I've definitely seen this around. I feel like the last few videos I have posted, maybe, I haven't been wearing, wearing any makeup. And this video is no different. I thought I would do sort of like a test for you or to show you on my skin in real time. This does contain 7% yogurt which is the most they've ever included in a yogurt product their yogurt line has been around for a while and i've tried multiple products from the yogurt line my favorite was the i don't remember what it's called i'm going to insert the name down below because they've discontinued it that product it was like for after sun care and they have a similar product currently that i haven't tried yet which i probably think um, serves a very sim similar purpose. It's supposed to basically soothe your skin and make your sunburns less painful. I never used it for that purpose. I used it directly on my face. That was the product that really made me know that lactic acid is what my skin likes. It's helped me clear up a lot of the stuff on my face and it's definitely left my skin feeling really smooth and bright and things like that lactic acids and aha which is an alpha hydroxy acid from what i understand it has larger molecules than glycolic acid and it's different from bha's like salicylic acid which really go into your pores very deeply lactic acid it, because it's a larger molecule it really does a lot more surface resurfacing and things like that. I'm going to link a video down below that talks more about BHAs and AHAs from this channel called Beauty Within. They have these really in-depth comprehensive videos about skincare that I think are really beneficial and helpful. So I'm going to link their video below. So I'm wearing, I'm wearing my Harry Styles t-shirt because I will be applying face cream to my face and little did I think when I bought this t-shirt and spent like $40 on it that I would be using it as like a junk t-shirt. <laughs> I think one of the reasons Karez reached out to me was because I have a video where I did yogurt face masks. This is like three years ago now, maybe four years ago. So I'll link that video to this video. And what I'm gonna do later when I do a test of this on my face for you guys is to actually recreate one of those yogurt masks that I used to do and I'll do it like a side-by-side -side kind of comparison. Apply a rich layer on dry cleansed face, avoid the eye, avoiding the eye area. Leave for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse off thoroughly. Keep the mask in fridge for an extra cooling sensation. So I did actually put it in the fridge. It's a six month expiration from when you open it. There's this little um, like logo kind of thing here which says anti-pollution tested protective product proven to help protect from indoor and outdoor environmental pollutants. I really don't know how they've done that. Um, they don't really explain that very well. Maybe it's on the website. Okay, so Sephora already has this mask up for sale. There's already 46 reviews. This is a little bit more detailed. An instant super dose for all skin types formulated with hydrobiodome rebalancing technology. It delivers a 48 hour time release hydration complex and pollution protection shield for the ultimate reset button for stressed skin. Okay, so before I do the little test for you guys, I just wanna say I did use it a couple days ago. I left it on for about 20 minutes. I do have normal to dry skin during the summer. It's, it leans a little bit combo, but lately um, I've been getting a lot of dry patches around my nose. I'm not really sure why. I might've gotten a sunburn. I was really interested in using this to sort of like nourish my skin and to like get rid of the dry patches the dry patches were still there the next day i have to say i'm gonna go wash my face and i will be back with you okay i'm back 
Do you like my little reindeer? That's, I love this thing. I, I love Christmas as well, so this is like the ideal face mask headband. I have some yogurt. This is regular yogurt. Normally, for face mask purposes, I use Greek yogurt, but this is what I had. Um, I've mixed it basically one part yogurt and one part honey. prefer using raw honey, so I'm going to mix that together. It's going to be a lot runnier than the um, Karez runnier than usual because I'm not using a Greek yogurt. The Karez does not contain honey. In fact, it has like alcohol in it and water. Yogurt is the second ingredient. Recipe, there's avocado oil slowly, which is really good for like repairing your skin and for your chest and pits. Um, sweet almond oil, alcohol, shea butter, aloe juice powder. Salicylic acid actually is in here and there's also perfume or fragrance. I've tried a couple of um, the yogurt products in the line from Karez and they tend to have this kind of funky smell. It actually smells a little bit like you're putting yogurt on your skin. This one smells different. I haven't bought any of the yogurt products recently, so maybe they've changed the fragrance. Yeah, like powdery almond scent, but it's very light. So I'm just going to take about this much because I'm only doing half my face. I'm going to do it on this side of my face. So you can see, this is a thin layer actually that I'm putting on. But honestly, I don't think, I did a very thick layer last time and I don't think it really makes a difference whether you put a thin layer on or a thick layer because it's not going to absorb in 10 to 15 minutes. That's my personal opinion. Don't know if it's true. You can see it's, it's still quite thick on its own. It's not like disappearing. It's starting to tingle some. You can see how thick it is. It's definitely tingling. Sensitive skin types, this may not be for you, even the lactic acid is allegedly for sensitive skin types. Now, I'm going to put on my homemade honey yogurt mask on the other side. It's really drippy in comparison and it's only getting drippier because it's getting to room temperature. You can see that it like just disappears because it's watery and it has honey mixed into it so it's more of a darker tone, it doesn't stick out as much. But I mean, you're not wearing this outside, so who cares? Or if you want to, hey, that's your prerogative. Okay, this this obviously has a distinctive yogurt smell and like a faint honey smell. I can't even see where I'm not putting it on. This is like gotta be the sexiest video on the internet right now. I've only used a tiny amount of this because it's so watery. I can't tell if it's tingling or... I think this side is tingling and I don't think this side is yet. But anyway, honey is a natural humectant, so it naturally draws um, moisture to your skin. And in that sense, these two masks might be comparable because the honey in here is also like the sodium hyaluronate or the hyaluronic acid. They kind of serve similar purposes. Both of them do draw moisture to your face and your skin. Definitely, the left side is tingling a lot, almost burning. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. There's a hair. Oh well, that's not coming off. It's definitely a completely different type of texture. I would say that this mask is like a really heavy cream. Almost like Noxzema type or Pond's cold cream. So I'm gonna check back in in just a little bit here. Back. It's been 15 minutes. Back with a warm washcloth here and I'm just gonna wipe the mask off. You can see that the Karez side has sort of like sunken in a little bit. It's not as white as it was before. Don't judge me for, for wiping here. I feel like I'm wiping like chicken grease off my my skin on the Karez side. Um, definitely the honey side, the DIY side is a little bit more tacky. So the Karez side feels like there's some residue on my face. And I don't think it's just because I'm doing this without a mirror and in the living room because I had the same experience last time I did it. Overall, my skin feels about the same on both sides. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I feel like my skin on the DIY side feels firmer, but not dry. And this feels like plumper. The honey side actually cleaned off really nicely. Um, last time I did this, I felt I kind of let it like settle for a bit before applying my moisturizer. And I felt like my skin felt like dry 
drier after doing the mask last time, the Kres one, and I also felt like my skin felt a little tight, so I'm gonna give it a few minutes here. I just went into the bathroom and looked at my face more closely, um, so it doesn't really feel like there's a residue now. Um, however, when I go like this over both sides of my face, the Honey DIY side glides over a lot more smoothly. I feel, my skin feels softer than here where it kind of like I run into this slightly tacky feeling. I don't know if I'm imagining it or it's the lighting, but I do feel like the left side, which is my crest side, is a little bit more matte after the mask than the honey side. So I forgot to mention earlier that Kerez does say that this product, this mask, is for all skin types. It does say it's a multifunctional face mask and that you can do like a thin layer as an overnight like sleeping mask kind of thing. Which reminds me of another product. I don't know if they make this anymore, but the Sephora Creamy Night Mask Moisturizing and Plumping. It's um, specifically with hyaluronic acid. This product is something I really enjoy traveling with because it is meant to be left on the skin overnight. And I use this as my moisturizer when I travel. I also put it on, on the airplane or before I get on the plane. So it's like a great multitasker. And I think this would be a similar product. Maybe not so great for the airplane. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna apply a thin layer all over since I'm not going anywhere now. So I'm just gonna put some all over really thinly. Okay, my initial thought is that it's, it's not hard to spread, but it does tug a little bit on dry skin. So it might be better applied to like slightly damp skin. It's definitely tingling again, so I wouldn't recommend this every day for sensitive skin. I would also avoid the eye area, so I don't know why I just did that. Wow, that's like really kind of greasy feeling on my hand. Okay, so I'm back. It is definitely still tacky, and the one thing I noticed most of all is, you know how I spread it on my hands as a moisturizer? It is pilling off of my hands now. So that means um, this would not sit well under any other product probably. It's very heavy. I can feel it there. This would definitely not be good for the summertime. Probably not great for oily skin. I didn't mention Kerez sent this to me free of charge. They didn't even say I had to review it or anything. Um, they definitely are not paying me to do this. I don't have a sponsorship. I'm not partners with them or anything like that. I do hope they continue sending me things even though I don't love this product. I think this is good for dry sensitive skin. I did feel that my skin was a little bit brighter the next day after I used this. So I do think it does work as lactic acid, but it's, it's like a mild one even though it tingles quite a bit. And now that I've tried it as a night cream thing, I wouldn't recommend this for most people. It's a very thin layered um, cream. The tingling is not apparent. Like I think it tingled at first, but it definitely is not tingling right now. And if it is, I've gotten used to it. I don't know that it's ever gonna settle down and it will pill. It will cost $49 for this 3.38 fluid ounce, but I do highly recommend checking out the Carez yogurt line. I will probably use this to wash this off because I, I don't know if I can bear going throughout the day. It is still summertime with this on my face. Um, I need to stop touching my face. Okay, I just wanted to check back in quickly. I used this to wash the face mask off my face and it's my first time ever using this and oh my gosh, I really like it. It smells so good. It reminds me of like Asian skincare products. It smells like peach or something. It was not drying at all. It was because I tend to stay away from foaming cleansers just because they tend to be a little bit more drying but this is 86.4% natural. It was so nice. It was creamy and foaming at the same time. It didn't strip my skin. It smelled really good and my skin felt clean but not tight after using it. So Okay, so that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new, hi, thank you for subscribing. Let me know down below what kind of videos you want to see. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about this product down below and otherwise I'll see you when I see you.